Hi everyone, this is Rob Walker and welcome to this Google AdWords setup. This is a step-by-step, -step, a kind of a beginner's guide into everything about Google AdWords and how to actually set everything up. Okay, but before we do that, what we're going to do is have a look at some important points in regards of actually uh, things to consider. And the first thing is your budget, okay? Obviously on a daily and monthly basis. Now, if I get somebody who rings me up or calls me, emails, whatever, and they say to me, look, I'd like you to run a PPC campaign. The first thing, the first question which I ask them is, what's your budget? What are you prepared to spend on a monthly amount? So, you know, if they might say to me, right, I want to keep things really tight to start off with. So I'm going to go for $300 per month. $300 per month is not a lot of money because if when you actually break that down, it equates to about $10 a day, which is not a lot of money. But if that's your budget, then obviously it's important to actually consider that and don't exceed that. The next thing is know your audience and demographics. And I'm talking like target audiences here and, and obviously age groups. So if you're selling a product or a service, let's say, for example, you are a plumber and you've got a plumbing company in the local town in your country, then your target audience are going to be homeowners and they're obviously going to be people who might rent a property. So there you that's your audience and your demographics. Again, you'll know those type of people. Homeowners here in the UK are probably sort of 30 to 50. Uh, that's the kind of area where you want to be aiming at and obviously knowing your audience and your demographics. And obviously, if you're selling a product which is aimed at teenagers, your target audience is going to be you know, younger people. So that can kind of reflect in the wording of your ads. But we'll have a look at that in a little bit, uh, a little bit later. Okay, know your keywords. Now, again, using the plumber as our example, you know, people are going to be searching on plumbers in a certain town, uh, plumbing services in a, in a local town. Um, so you need to know your keywords. Very, very important that you have some idea of what your keywords are, obviously, for the products or the services that you're offering and want to sell. Research the competition. Very, 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 very important. Now, obviously, you'll know your keywords. So the first thing what you should do is go onto Google and you should look at what people are actually um, advertising on already and look at your competition. What are they doing? Who is your competition? Know your competition. So we'll have a look at that a little bit later. Landing page action. Really, really important. Again, obviously, you need to know what you want that traffic to do. So if you are selling a product, then you want that person or the, those people to buy your product. So you, what you need is a strong call to action. So, you know, there's nothing worse, and I come across this quite a lot, than I look at a site and I say, look, if you want to drop traffic onto this particular page, you know, you need a stronger call to action. You need, people like to be led when they're online. So if you, they land on a page and they see a product and they've got a, you've got a great price on that, then you need a big add to cart button on there. You need something which is going to say, look, this is my product, this is my service. If you want them to call a number, have the number on a, on a, on a page there where they can see that very very clearly and that's the first thing what they do they're going to call your number or if you know add to cart they want to they read the information that you click on add to cart so it's a very very important that you do have a landing paid action and it's all set out very very nice run a tight ship especially in the beginning now what i mean by this is it's very easy when you set up on adwords to actually let the budget go over and it's a bit it can become like a gambling product where you just keep chucking at it and chucking money at it and it's not really doing anything so if things aren't going well pause everything you have the ability with adwords to pause everything regroup and see what's going on okay so let's have a look at adwords on google Okay, so I've just come to Google and I've just typed in plumber in Winchester, which is not a, a million miles away from where I live. Now, what we have here is obviously the first three adverts here. And it's you can just see, if I just zoom in here, you can see where it just says ad. Okay, so this person here, or this company, which is myplumbinginwinchester.co.uk, is the site which is obviously top of the tree. And they're the ones which are willing to pay the most money for that ad placement and basically how it works google will tell you slightly different in the fact that you know they go on click through rates etc etc but at the end of the day the person or the company with the deepest pockets will go top of the tree for whatever key phrase they are want they want to bid on so this guy here is going to pay more than this guy and is going to pay more than this guy okay so that's 
in theory that's how it works and remember Google makes billions of dollars every single year in profit okay so whatever you do okay whatever your uh, your um, amount of money which you set on your budget Google will eat into that on a daily basis okay so you, they, what you don't see here is obviously how much these people are actually paying so you know you've got no idea as such but ad placements now aren't cheap okay and in the UK then you're looking at say you know an average of say 50 or 60 pence per click now if you think about it if we say that we're spending 10 pounds per day okay that is only going to be that's going to be uh, what we're looking at 20 clicks okay 20 new customers or potential new customers landing from Google onto your site each day for 10 pounds if they spend 50 pence so it's not a lot of traffic okay so obviously the bigger the budget if you're spending you know twice that you're going to get double the traffic etc etc but have a look at these ads here what they've done okay so local plumber winchester okay pretty much says what it does on the tin winchester plumbing uh, and heating fix your plumbing problem today okay if i'm looking for a plumber and i need somebody straight away then that kind of that ad cuts it with me because i need that's so got a strong call to action with that okay so this is how basically things are actually displayed on google there's three there if it's a very popular keyword you're going to get three there and you're going to get seven or eight along this side here there and then you're going to have the local ones here which are um kind of local um ads well they're not even ads actually they're more places more places here as you can see okay i can click on these and these will give me all the plumbers in that direction but the lion's share of the traffic okay is going to be the one two or three because these are the people who are paying to be advertised on google they're above google's free stuff here and they're also above the um the natural listings here which in you know in google terms they don't really want you to click on this they want you to click on their ads because why do they want to click on their ads because they're going to get paid money for that so always consider that so let's now go to google adwords i've clicked on google adwords as you can see and okay, there's even adverts on google adwords okay as you can see here what i'm going to do is click on this one here where it says google adwords google ppc pay-per-click online i click on this and this page loads up like so now the first thing what you will need when you're setting up a google adwords account is a google um a, a google account okay now if you've not done that just google that set up a google account set up a gmail if not then what we need to do okay is get your ad on google today and when we can start now a little tip for you if you google uh, adwords vouchers you might find somebody giving away google adword vouchers okay if that's the case research it and if you can get something for free then by all means great fantastic okay well what i'm going to do now is click on where it says start now and you'll see straight away okay my email is, a, is is there okay i'm going to put a different email in here like so and basically what we'll do here is we'll set we'll actually enter a website address okay so once we've done that we click on continue and then it's going to ask me to actually log into my Google account. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, Google is always changing their um, setup of how people actually, um, you know, actually start an AdWords account. This is the latest version here. Now, what we're going to do is they they've got a thing called AdWords Express for your business. Okay, this is a quick service. What they want you to do to start off with to basically get your uh, credit card details and your ads running as quick as possible, so they can take your money. Okay, it's as simple as that. You you know, it's a very very people get this um, delusion that Google is trying to help themselves or help you. Um, then that's not the case. Okay, they want you to advertise and they want your money. Okay they will obviously help you okay and if you spend a certain much you'll probably get a phone call from a google adwords representative and he will he or she will actually help you um you know target your ads etc etc um, and obviously you know their prime objective is to get you to spend more money to increase your budget okay so just bear that in mind now obviously what i've got here is I'm, I'm i'm in the uk as you can see it's recognized the fact from the ip address which i'm using that i'm in the in the uk and it says where do you want your ad to appear 
Now, it's important if you're a business which has got a local uh, business and you're only going to be, uh, you've got a service in your local area, the last thing you want you to be doing is advertising, say, in Scotland if you're based right down in, you know, in the south of England, etc., etc. And again, if you're in America and you're in a certain state or a county or whatever, you don't want to be advertising the other side of the country. So we target by city or country here. Okay, so where it says add location and city, I'm going to put in here Bournemouth, okay, Bournemouth, England, okay, because that's the city where I am, okay, uh, and I'm going to get rid of United Kingdom. Now, what you can see, what's happened there, okay, is the fact that instead of actually advertising in the whole of the UK, all right, then all I'm going to do is advertise in my local area like so. Okay, so again, I'm knowing uh, my target audience. My target audience, okay, is this going to be in this local area here? If I wanted to add Paul, which is a local town nearby, then I can do. Okay, and I would recommend okay, that you do this in the beginning. All right, now obviously, if you've got a product which is going to be national, fine, then you can use the whole country, you can use the whole world, it's entirely up to you. But Okay, keeping things tight and under control in the beginning means that you know I'm only looking for a target or an audience in a local area, uh, which is what I'm doing here. So I'm going to save that there at the bottom. Okay, and my ad. Choose which where to target your customers. Okay, so what product or service do you want to advertise? I'm just going to put in here website building, like so. Okay, website building. Uh, so it's web. Um, create a website. Create your own website. Uh, website maker. Uh, web design. I could include that, and then click on save like so. Okay. So online service marketing is going to be my headline for my my first ad. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to put in here web site uh, builder building service. Okay, something like that. Now my ad, ad text, you'll notice, okay, that I've got 35 characters, all right? So if we look on an ad here, okay, this is where we're looking at this part here. That's the title what we've just put in, and you'll notice as well that I capitalized the actual uh, headline, okay? Very, very important that you do that, okay? It just stands out, makes your ad stand out a little bit more. So, um, simple websites. Made to order, like so. Let's make sure I spell everything correct, like so. Simple websites made to order, um, competitive prices. Okay, something like that. Okay, I'm going to click on save. There you go. Okay, so what we're looking at now is the budget average per day. All right, so. I'm looking at 330 pounds per month. Okay, this is what Google's recommending me to start off with, 10 pound 86, all right? Now, I'm looking at 70 to 110 estimated clicks on your first month. So, you know, if you, if you call that round figures, then we're looking at really about, I don't know, probably about 100, okay? Probably just less than 100, probably 95 clicks on my, on my first month. And that's gonna go to my website. Um, there okay so I'm happy with that I'll click on OK so website building service my address simple websites made to order competitive prices okay so the next thing what I'm going to, I'm going to bring this down so you can see what I'm doing here okay is save and continue like so like that and guess what Google then wants okay if I've got a, a VAT which is uh, value added tax Okay, and it wants to know my business name and obviously where I am, automatic payments if I want to do a bank account or if I want to do a credit card or debit card. Okay, it's entirely up to you. Probably a debit or a credit card and obviously that needs to be valid is going to be the best way to do it. Okay, and once you've done that, then your ads will actually start um, uh, running. Okay, and then we'll review. So what we'll do in the next video, once we've actually actually set up ads, then we'll have a look at Google AdWords, uh, the actual interface, and we'll have a look at um, targeting ads and getting the uh, maximum bang for your buck.